Hello, and welcome back again to my channel. In today's tutorial, we explore UI web design in Adobe Photoshop, step by step. Whether you're new to design or looking to enhance your skills, this video is for you. Let's create stunning web interfaces together. Let's dive in. Start a new project, click the new file button. Click on web tab and select first option. Uncheck artboard box and click create button. Now, let's create the initial guidelines. Navigate to the view menu. Then select guides and choose guide layout. Follow these steps to create guidelines. Click OK. Create a solid color layer. Click the adjustment button and select solid color. Follow color code. Click OK. Now, drag your background image onto the canvas and make any necessary adjustments. Keep the background image selected and change the blending mode from normal to luminosity. Reduce the opacity from 100% to 10%. Keep the background image selected. Then navigate to Filter. Choose Blur. And select Gaussian Blur. And adjust the radius value. Click OK. Now, select the Type tool. Click on the canvas. And follow these steps. Drag your image onto the canvas and adjust it to fit the text. With the image layer selected, right click and then choose duplicate layer. Click OK. With the duplicate layer selected, Click on the Layer Style button and choose Color Overlay and follow these specific settings. Click OK. With the duplicate layer selected, go to Filter, then Blur and choose Gaussian Blur and follow these specific settings. Click OK. And now reduce the fill 100% to 0%. Bring the duplicated image layer below the original image layer and move it slightly downward to create a shadow effect. With both the duplicated and original layers selected, click on the Create a new group button. With the group selected, hold the Control key and click on the text layer to make a selection. Choose the Lasso tool and use it to deselect any other areas. Following these steps. After deselecting, Keep the group selected. Click the Add Layer Mask button to apply a mask to the group. Then, select the mask and press Ctrl A to invert it. Now select the Brush tool and make sure the opacity and flow are set to 100%. And also the brush hardness is 100%. And follow these steps. Now, select the Type tool and add text layers by following these steps.
Now, create a logo and drag the logo image onto the canvas. Resize it as needed, as shown. and create a navigation bar. and create call to action button. Now design slider buttons and select the rectangle tool and follow the steps. Thank you for watching this UI web design tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy designing!